little thicker than the last one I did, the Sriracha. Uh, this one's more like about three times consistency of milk. I can roll it in the spoon. It hovers the edge without spilling over. So it's not a, a not a not a real watery sauce. Again, get that earthy green, the Sorrento smell, garlic. Slight hint of chunks in there, mostly cream. Alright, so the, the original is a, the super hot is an all around hot sauce. Garlic forward, excellent. The original, I'll try to keep it vague. It's a good taco sauce. And, you know, pizza, etc. This one, get a little more in depth. Got that verde taste to it. Uh, this man would just be killer on tacos, burritos. Excellent sauce. Um, scrambled eggs, yeah, I can see it there. As you can tell, I do kind of like it. I wouldn't be going for number three if I didn't. For a commercially available sauce, I mean, I'm in Illinois, this is made in California, so it comes a long way. Don't know if it's on the East Coast. I mean, that's a good table sauce. Um, be honest with you, with the habanero in there, it does have a little heat. Heat scale for me, after the third spoonful, I do three, four, three, I think three. I go 1.5. It's 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 got a burn there, um, as you most know. I have a pretty high tolerance at the moment, so, um, yeah, for your average ordinary Joe, this is going to be hotter probably than Tabasco, seeing as how I'm actually getting a little bit of a, a slight tingle, not in the throat, but right at the back of the mouth, back of the tongue, man, take this with you to Taco Bell. Any Mexican restaurant, this is going to be a killer sidekick. I'm guaranteeing you. Excellent. Um, I taste the garlic. I taste the fresh, the peppers, the vinegar. Not so overpowering. It's really not that bad. It really is not. Uh, it, you can get, it's that earthy greenness of the jalapeno sereno. Um, garlic especially, the onion not so much. Definitely got some spice in there. It's got a good all-around flavor. Yeah. I'm going to give that one a thumbs up, folks. Definitely try that one out. Um, hey, get on there and order you the four-pack. They even have a yellow version that I haven't found yet. Uh, if I can't find it, I am going to order that one. I want to do the review on all four of these sauces. Hey, I grew up listening to them, guys. What can I say? I'm a fan, right? Uh, so, hey. Try that sauce. It's really good. It's, I'd almost go a two. It actually, it must have a pretty good little amount of habaneros in there. Breakfast burritos. Oh, man, this would be killer. I'm kind of getting the whole gringo bandito thing. Because they are, with the taste of them, they would go excellent with Mexican food. It's that's just my honest opinion. Um, I can see this with eggs and yeah, pizza. Yeah, it'd be good, without a doubt. Um, meats, maybe not so much. A baked potato, oh, absolutely. Baked potato, sour cream, chives, throw that on top. It's going to be killer. All right, folks, that's my review, man. Take it for what it is. Try that one out. Gringo Bandito, Dexter Holland. Hey. We got to keep them separated. Cheers, everybody. Until the next time, Catfish Redneck will see you later. I'm out.